welcome to another video. I'm not sure if Harlow is gonna allow this video to happen. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I have a, oh my gosh, in two days, she's going to be a year old. I have a 12 month old in the background in her playpen and um, she doesn't like her playpen very much. So I have been letting her crawl or crawl. She walks now, walk around this whole area. But recently she started climbing on top of the coffee table and I'm facing this way. So we can't have her running about. On, so I'm in a diaper. Up. You are up. Up. We, she has like quite the vocabulary now. She started opening doors today. She tried to open the door to the backyard, which I had to lock. Uh, we have a pool um, and she opened the door to my reptile room. She also started saying beep beep today. I said beep beep because I was trying to get by her <laughs> and now she's using it properly. She's like beep beep when she's trying to like get like squeezed by something. You so beep, beep 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 yeah beep beep why are you so smart? Beep 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 beep. Today we're gonna do a pregnancy update. Beep, beep, I beep, am beep. 26 weeks pregnant. Um, this is the last week in my second trimester guys and then I am in my third beep, trimester. Beep beep. beep. Beep, 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 um, which is insane. Beep, so beep. make this pretty quick. Um, I'm feeling a lot better this pregnancy than I was with this one at 26 weeks. Um, I don't have really any pains. There is a like a very slight ache in my sacrum area and it was actually worse um, about a month ago. I was hurting pretty bad for about a month. Started going to the chiropractor um, and stretching. Um, do you wanna get down? Okay, I'm gonna be watching you. You better not get on that coffee table. So I had like a pretty bad pain there, but now I've been stretching. The chiropractor told me it was due to my like left side, my groin just being like too tight. I've been sleeping not super great and that's typical of pregnancy. So I've been kind of like my back hurts a little bit when I like my lower back sacrum area hurts when I like try and roll over and I roll over a lot in my sleep. So that's been difficult. Also, my husband has taken up insane amounts of snoring. He used to snore, but um, here, you wanna play with a couple kitchen utensils right here? Here. So he's been snoring like way more than usual, which has been very rough because once I wake up, it's really hard to go back to sleep right now. Like this morning I woke up at 6 a.m. because some light was coming into my sleep mask and I just stayed awake. So I am gonna actually start waking up at 6 a.m. though um, and like getting up to do like my skincare routine and just all of that because people are like, get as much sleep as you can before you have your baby, but I already have a baby that I have to get up pretty early for anyway. So is what it is. Um, as far as baby, they are measuring two weeks ahead. So we'll see if my due date changes. I have not been to the doctor since I was 15 weeks. There is um, a reason for that. Nick and I just want kind of as little medical intervention and appointments as possible. So that's one reason why I also am waiting for a transfer from my current hospital and care to another hospital. So I'm waiting for that to go through because I have a stupid HMO. And then once um, that goes through, I can go see the other, the new ones I'm planning to go about 30 weeks and go um, check in. I don't really want to hear anyone's opinions on that because I don't really care. So if you leave a negative opinion about it below, I'll just block you. Um, we don't have any room or time for that on my channel. So uh, yeah, I haven't seen a doctor since 15 weeks and it's been glorious. Um, I have felt great. I've had no issues. Um, and it's been great. So had I had any of those things, of course I would have gone immediately to the doctor. But um, yeah, everything's been really good. Beep, 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 beep. Daddy's uh, at work today, so. It's us girls all weekend, huh? All yesterday, all today, all tomorrow, and then we see daddy on Monday. Uh, I've been feeling tons and tons of movement. There's definitely times when the baby is like really active and not active, and I would say it's like around 6 a.m. to like 8 p.m that the baby's super active and then late at night and 
actually the movement <laughs> like I can just feel the baby kicking and they are hard kicks so but they it feels all very fluid and like purposeful it's not like you know quick jabs and stuff like you feel at the beginning So we'll see when I go into the doctor if they're gonna move my due date at all. Um, I'm not really sure if they do. I think if it goes like if they if the ba baby's measuring two weeks or more, if I'm not mistaken, they will move your due date. So we'll we'll see on that one. Um, I did a live recently. If you were on that, thanks for watching. Uh, that was super fun. Actually, we need to do another one of those. I really enjoyed that. Um, I got asked about my go bag and like if there was stuff in my first bag to the hospital that I wouldn't bring this time or if there's things that I didn't have that I wanted to bring. So I thought about doing a whole video on that. Watch your head, sweetie. I thought about doing a whole video on that. So if you want to see that, let me know because I feel like like every like my preg my birth and labor with Harlow was so different hopefully than this one's going to be and there was things because of that that I ended up not using at all but had the birth gone the way that I was hoping for it to go with the birth center and whatnot then all of that would have been great but there was so much in there that I was just like I just don't even care to use any of that just put the vlog camera up put my music on that's all I give a shit about um, it also depends I guess to like what's going on if I go into labor naturally and that will probably take me down a little bit different path and if it's a little earlier otherwise if my due date comes i'm going to be induced um so we'll see i mean those are two very different ways that it could go so we'll just see what the baby wants to do um and then another question that i got asked is like my birth plan is it going to be the same as it was with harlow be gentle with the kitty turn my chair a little bit so you can see what's going on back here Oh, good job. You're being so gentle. Good girl. Um, my birth plan. So again, I want to hear from you guys, some of you guys about this. If you have more than one child, I would love to hear your opinion and your experience. But according to my husband, who's, um, knows a lot about childbirth, actually, he's delivered quite a few babies at work. He's a fireman and paramedic. And he was telling me that typically, and generally speaking, when you have a difficult first birth, your second dairy one is and most likely going to be along the same lines. So he would prefer that I go to the hospital and do the whole epidural and do that kind of route as opposed to trying to do a birth center. So we'll see. The place I'm gonna give birth at actually has a birth center. I talked about this in the live too. So if I'm repeating myself because you were watching that, then I'm sorry, but I'll just, I'll make it quick. Um, the place that I'm, the hospital I'm gonna give birth at has a birth center on one side and then, um, They've got um, uh, a hospital on the other. So they're very, very close. They're on the same like ground level. I don't know if it's ground level, whatever level. They're the same and you can just walk right over. Uh-oh. I'll get you some more stuff to play with. You want to, oh, you probably like these. What's that? So cool. So I was thinking about if I go into labor like naturally and early or on time, I would try the birth center first and then move over to the hospital if it's not progressing uh, within a certain period of time, which will be much shorter than it was with her. I was almost in labor with Harlow for six days um, and that was pretty gnarly. If you've not seen that, I will link it for you guys or you can search it on my channel. But so I don't know, maybe I'll go dive more into that in um, another video if you guys want to see more about that. But here is the bump. I got this super cute a uh, little outfit on Amazon. It's like so comfy. And I'm not really feeling any, like I'm not feeling the baby more on one side than the other at all. It's just pretty like, the baby's just kind of all over the place. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of everything for my little update. I'm feeling really good. I'm obviously pretty tired. Like I feel like that goes without saying. Hey, please, please don't do that. I don't like that. No, thank you. Should I like rip my bracelet? <laughs> I don't think so. I feel like that's everything. If you guys have any more questions for me, I'm an open book and I'll answer whatever you are curious about below. I did want to still do a video about breastfeeding. A lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to be breastfeeding or attempting to breastfeed with baby number two. So I kind of wanted to go through that and my thoughts because I still wanted to share about my breastfeeding journey with Harlow because it was very difficult, 
very frustrating um, and I tried so many things and none of it worked for me. So I wanted to kind of go through that whole thing. I've been meaning to do that literally for the past eight months, um, but you know, life. So <laughs> again, I am going through a home renovation while I'm pregnant, just like I was with Harlow. So that's been a little bit challenging as well, but at least it's not the kitchen this time. So we're doing good there. You want mama to come play with you now? Okay. Um, thanks for watching guys. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below and I will go ahead and answer. But um, we are starting to wean off of the bottle and just do mostly solids. So she's a little grumpy. She just had a bottle though. So I, I don't know what the deal is, but she needs my attention. So I'm gonna take off, but thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer those. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.